Personally, to me, the tragedy in life is not death. This is something I wrote some time ago. But we got to be able to come to the point to, to live the life that grace has invited us to live. Mm -hmm. It's not just because of things happen a bad way in our life. We just got to understand that we, we got to choose to live to the level that grace has invited us to live. When, when it's in spite of you. When, when, when the Spirit of God said, let me take up habitation in your heart. I'm going to show you a whole new journey. It may not even look like mainstream, but it's between me and you. That's the new creation man. See, you don't have to look on the Joneses. You don't have to try to figure out why I'm not moving as fast as everybody else. Why I'm not on TV like everybody else. Maybe God don't want you on TV. Can you serve God without being on TV? God told me, that's the first conversation I had. God told me some time ago, if you never promise that again, can you still stand up and preach? Because it's never about what I do. I ain't never got to get on the TV. I'll be fine on YouTube and Facebook Live. Fine, it's free. <laughs> Am I right? You got to be talking about, y'all, you know what? We we about $4,000 in a hole. Now we got two months. <laughs> My mind can't, I'm going to be honest, I'm like, $4,000 for being on the TV for two weeks? Not, not, I said two months, but two weeks. Sometimes it takes that. That's expensive. Now I've had about 1,200 people. You know, you can make that up. But to have a little, you know, Baker's dozen. Not to say we got a bigger dozen, but just to have on a lighter note. Not to, not to have enough people to make the the budget, and then if I got a contract, because they want you in the contract, mm -hmm. and if you don't follow through the contract, you got to pay the remainder of the contract. Mm -hmm. See, I, I found all this out when I first started. They was trying to push me, trying to get me on it. Like, and I said, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. You got to put it over people's heads and cause them to jump through hoops and, and leave. Most of, them, most of them, most of them, most of them you know what, I'm out of here. The puzzle lost oh, his rabbit mind. So we have a, this, we have a systemic, I'm closing here. We have a systemic default in who we are. And that's because we've relegated our strength to a fading system. Yes. That system, the system that brought you into the kingdom is, is weak, is, is, is faulty. It's erroneous. It's deceptive. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lie. It's vanity. Yeah. It's fading. Oh my yes. The outward man is perishing. Mm -hmm. The man who you are supposed to be is getting stronger and stronger every day. Amen. How do we offset this? I'm going to get closing right here. I'm, I, I'm just going to try to hold out a little bit, but I'm going to just give you what I got. Amen. I'm going to close. And I got this. How do we offset the systemic default? Our maturity must be accomplished by the overshadowing power of his Holy Spirit. Continually touching our lives, our hearts, our thoughts, and our minds. All else besides this is vanity and loss. As he was begotten by the overshadowing power of the, of the Spirit, so are we to be as well. Mm -hmm. Finding the serenity and peaceful living in Christ causes the believer to transcend, exceed, and surpass Amen. beyond the limits of an earthly container. Amen. This, that's what I'm talking about. It's right here. This mm -hmm. veil. This is a veil. Mm -hmm. The moment in our lives that we partake of what is earthen, we take our being out of the eternal and transcend into the temporal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get listen. When you work or do things contrary to the nature that's in you, that is always consistently, all the time, mm -hmm. confirmed in scriptures, mm -hmm. you've lowered yourself into a lower dimension. Yes, Yep. And there's the writing on that dimension. I already yeah. told you. Yeah. It's, full, it's full of lies and deception. Yeah. And it is fading. Yeah. There's a death sentence in that frame of thought. Yeah. It's a systemic failure. Yeah. The best way to offset that failure, that default, is we must have our own personal encounter with God. Hmm. If we want to bring this generation 
into incarnates as well. As more and more people get in disillusioned with church and religion, our greatest ambition is to reveal Jesus to a generation so much that they that so much so much so that as they see his beauty, his loveliness, his magnificence, his grace, and his awesome plan for their lives, there will be neither debate nor contest contest as to who the best choice is for their life. Christ is the truth. Christ is the choice. We must see Jesus. We're closing, really, really, really closing. We must see Jesus as the beginning of a new creation of God in Christ. We must see that the magnificence of his attributes is no longer seen only in the man, Jesus. That's quite, I'm not degrading it. The Christ of the living God has now become a new species, a new breed of people. Yes. In the earth. Yes. Christ the body. Yes. I see. I, this is, I do. I see it. I feel it in my belly. I don't see it in completion. I can hear the rustling of the dead men's bones. I can hear the sound of a strong wind coming. I see the resurgence of this new species of mankind coming forth. Not as a vestige of an old order. But a man full of divine opulence and relevance. Yes. Yes. I mean, just shine. Yes. A people who has been drawn out of the nations of the world, redeemed by the blood of Jesus, out of every kindred, and filled with his divine nature. But we got to get out of that systemic default. We can't keep thinking the way we used to think. We are the gate of heaven. We are the pillar. Yeah. Yeah. The church is the yeah. pillar of truth. Yeah. The ladder, the, 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 the connection between heaven and earth is in the people. Yeah. We are born again, Amen. given a new identity, yeah. a new hope, yeah. a new allegiance, yeah. a new destiny, yeah. a new yeah. <laughs> a people who have given themselves totally to be seized by God. A people who have renounced Self, the systemic default, because of getting a glimpse of the true nature of God that abides in them. I'm going to put it on Facebook. Get it off there. They are coming together as a glorious church and are willing to lay down everything as to who they were. The systemic default, the old man. Old things have passed away. Why? They recognize it. They've been awakened to righteousness. They understand that thing is on decline. It's fading. Yeah. <laughs> no longer living out of the weak and beggarly elements of their past. Yeah. Amen. They are now walking in the reality of the kingdom of God. These individuals are hearing the invitation to come up higher. And it's no, that's where we started. And it's no longer seeking membership, but sonship. They are willing to take the risk and go on to perfection. Most people are satisfied with just being born again and some even spirit-filled, but very few are willing to go on and grow up into him and into all things. That's what it's about, saying. That's the new creation, man. That's the Jesus, man. That's the man that's going to be established in the earth. That's the man that at the beginning, the Genesis mandate is going to be fulfilled. We're disenfranchised right now because we got splintered purposes. We have denominational headquarters telling us what God has said. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we have some of it is whimsical thinking. It's the hottest thing that's out there. But we got to detox ourselves from the foreign uh, substances, the, right. the things that are counterfeit to the kingdom of God. We got to detox ourselves. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's why I tell folks all the time, you got to get into an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's he it. will do the work that he's yes. designed to do in you. He can touch you in places that I can never touch you. Yes. You can see things about yourself that I can't tell you about you because you'll leave. Yes. Come on. <laughs> He'll do things to you that I can't say. But you got to lean into him. Yes. Father, we bless you. Amen. We thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing in this house. Father, not just this house. This is not just a house That's message. Right. That's right. 
This is a house for the region, not just the region, this is a house for the globe. It's for the body, the ecclesia, the people that you've brought out to yourself. A people, God, that's just tired of status quo and the way things used to be. A lot of the people that's ready to be translated. Hallelujah. Not only just translated into the kingdom, translated into a new way of thinking, but to transition into it. It's a whole other element, Father, to our faith. That we'll make the adjustments necessary. That there'll be a people in this place that will make the adjustments necessary. And Father, that they will allow the interpreter of every language, the Holy Spirit, to get them understanding. I just pray, Father, that, that, they, that they will just take even the most basic stuff that was given out of this word to heart and give themselves to it, which is a reasonable service. They offer their body up so they can be renewed in their mind. Doesn't go any other way than that. Father, we bless you for it in Jesus' name. Amen.